So the research environment at Brown, if I had to describe it, um, I would say that it's a place that has amazing uh, breadth of research opportunities. The typical silos of research don't really exist here. You don't have a lab of T cell researchers right next to a lab of B cell researchers, and the researchers, you know, don't get along and don't communicate with each other. When you have interesting collaboration amongst researchers, you have very interesting research opportunities. When I was a fellow, uh, the research project that I picked up was outside of our division. And what I mean by that is that I found a research mentor that was uh, a stem cell biologist. And he was very interested in looking at the ability of hematopoietic stem cells, not just to differentiate into traditional hematopoietic cells, but to see if they had the ability to differentiate into non-hematopoietic cells, like epithelial cells or endothelial cells. And the project that I worked on was looking at the ability of hematopoietic stem cells to repopulate the injured lung. So we had a mouse model uh, where mice received radiation uh, and radiation damage to the lungs, and we infused the mice with different stem cell populations. And what we found is, to a certain extent, uh, hematopoietic stem cells had the ability to differentiate into non-hematopoietic cells, specifically pulmonary epithelial cells. And I thought, wow, this was just, just the most amazing project. Prior to going to medical school, I had worked at a biotech uh, company, and I had done bench research. And I struggled with the decision of getting a PhD or going to medical school, and I decided that I really enjoyed direct patient care. I felt like the things that I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis as a physician was making a greater impact on humanity. Uh, and I didn't feel that way about the research that I was doing initially. But what really was exciting to me about the research project that I did as a fellow was that um, it just sparked my interest again in bench research. Uh, it felt like there was something directly translatable to the research that I was doing to someday having an impact on, on human lung disease. Uh, I also just enjoyed working in the lab. I enjoyed having different responsibilities, not just being a clinician, but also spending time uh, as a researcher. I found my division to be incredibly supportive and receptive uh, to this. Uh, and I was given dedicated research time as a junior faculty to sort of um, expand my research portfolio, get more publications, and eventually I was able to get a K award. We've had tremendous academic growth, and my hope for the future is that we continue to grow as an academic division.